god this is so weird talking to a camera and exciting i need to remember that i'm not just talking to myself but i'm literally talking to people who want to learn more and want to listen to me ramble about nutrition and health and whatever else i feel like i've been wanting to film a youtube video for so long now a youtube channel actually i should introduce myself my name is taylor if you're watching this you probably already know me you probably came from my instagram i am a dietetics major at northwest missouri state university in the midwest nutrition and health is a huge passion of mine it has been since i was like a freshman or a sophomore in high school. Also really, really like photography. If you know me, I've been doing that for a while on the side. I also really love to write. What else? I'm not that special, but yeah. I feel like I had something else to say and not for the life of me remember it. But anyways, okay, before I start, I just wanted to say, this is all personal for me. Some of the stuff I have here, you may like, you may not like. These are just suggestions. I get almost every time I go to the grocery store or I always make sure to have it in my house. This doesn't mean if you're a college student, this does not mean you have to have this. It doesn't mean that you have to like it. These are just things that I always eat and hopefully it'll give you some ideas on what to get in the store. These are mostly healthy. Oh, and I am a college student. And if you're watching this and you are a college student, don't feel bad about not getting the name brands. I get Hy-Vee brand. When I go to Walmart, I get the true value. Like, I'm not rich. I'm a college student. I get the cheapest option. Honestly, what can I afford in that week? I'm trying to think of what else. I feel like my mind's just all over the place. This is gonna be a hell of a video. I think that's it. So let's get started. My grocery staples. I'm gonna start with the two frozen things I have sitting out because they're currently dripping on my floor right now. So the first one is chicken breast. You can get these frozen, which is what we tend to do because we don't eat them every single day. You can also get them over the counter. Sometimes I get the um, shredded chicken breast in the little packet. That's what I'm talking about, you can put it in salads. Yeah, just depends, but any kind of chicken. Next is a uh, frozen fruit. I like to keep this on hand. Usually I only use it in smoothies, but um, especially during the winter months. This one is the Berry Medley from Hy-Vee. It's got blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries, and strawberries. So this is what this looks like. I think this has to be my all-time staple. I get this every single time I go to the store because I run out of it in like four days. Swear to God, I eat this daily. So. It's yogurt, and um, I get the plain Greek kind. I'll tell you why in a second. If you don't like Greek yogurt, I know it's like a personal taste. Sometimes people don't like it. You can get any kind of yogurt, really. I like getting the yogurts that aren't overloaded with sugar. I'm not looking for a dessert at the time. I'm looking for something wholesome and nutritious. So this is my base. I don't just eat this plain. Plain literally tastes like sour cream. The goal on my list is honey. And I add this to my Greek yogurt, and trust me, you don't even need a lot. Just drizzle this into my Greek yogurt, and then I mix it around, and it makes it so much sweeter without all the added sugar. But wait, there's more. So then after I add my honey, then I add granola. So this is the next thing on my list. Um, I always have granola on hand. This kind is the Honey Bunches of Oats granola. It's the honey roasted. And then the last thing I put in my yogurt is uh, some sort of berry. This week I have strawberries. I actually just ran out of blueberries, but I did have those too. Um, but I'll cut these up and I'll put them in my yogurt with the honey and the granola. It's literally like ice cream. Trust me, you gotta try it. It is so good. Fruit wise, I usually go at least three different fresh fruits a week. Another staple for me, even in the winter, is bananas. The time I'm not eating bananas plain, I will cut them up and put them on toast with peanut butter. I'll freeze them and I'll make banana ice cream. It's amazing. We'll use them in my smoothies. But if I am on the go and I need something quick and I need like a snack for the road or whatever, or if I need it for school, I will pack a banana into my bag because it's quick and easy and it's just right there. Like I said, I always get at least like three different fruits a week. So this week I have strawberries, bananas, and apples. And I did have some blueberries, but those ran out. So these are the three that I have right now. I'm not picky on my apples. I really just go and I like the firm ones. 
I don't like mushy ones. So I don't really have a specific kind of apple I like. I go through apples like crazy. I love apples with peanut butter. This is another thing that I like to bring to school or on the go. I'll also sometimes if I'm on the go, like I said, I really like apples and peanut butter. So I'll get the little to-go peanut butters if I know that I'm gonna be um, at school. The next staple for me is canned tuna. I don't tend to eat canned tuna plain. I tend to have mayonnaise and I'll mix the mayonnaise in with the tuna to make tuna salad. And then I'll just have a tuna salad sandwich for lunch. It's really, really quick and easy. If you've never tried a tuna melt, a tuna is not for everyone. If you've never tried a tuna melt, it's literally like a grilled cheese and then you mix the tuna and the mayonnaise together and then you put that on the grilled cheese and then you put it on the skillet. So good. Next thing is tortillas. Sometimes I'll make a wrap, but most of the time for tacos. So with that being said, I actually don't have any right now, but I always usually have frozen ground beef, obviously for the taco meat. Next are my veggies and same with fruit. It really just depends on what I'm feeling for that week or if I know that I'm gonna want a certain vegetable or a certain fruit with a certain meal. That's how I'll determine what vegetables I want for the week. Um, I'll get a head of broccoli and then I'll steam it or I'll eat it raw with my lunches. It just depends on what I'm feeling. Next is carrots, usually baby carrots. During lunch, I usually like to eat my vegetables raw. It's just me personally. And then at night, I like to steam my vegetables. The third veggie that I got for this week was just a bag of romaine lettuce. I was wanting to make a really big hearty salad this week. That's something I would, I've been craving. So this is what I decided to get for this week. Some other things I might get are like I really like green bell peppers with ranch. And I really, really like asparagus. Love, love, love zucchini. Those are the three that I got for this week. Like I said, it really just depends on what I'm feeling for that week when it comes to fresh produce. As much as I love to get everything that I like, I just know that for one person, it's gonna go bad by the time I get around to it. So I usually try to stick to like three, maybe four fruits for the week. And for vegetables, I. I'm usually three, like a three is a good amount. A head of broccoli can last me for like a week. Like next week I'll probably get brock or I'll probably get asparagus instead of broccoli because I had broccoli this week. Also, it's really good to have canned vegetables on hand or frozen vegetables in my opinion. I like uh, fresh vegetables or canned vegetables the most. The only thing with canned vegetables you have to watch out for is the sodium because sodium in canned foods can be really, really high. Usually I try to get low sodium or no sodium in my canned veggies. It's really, really plain to me, so I'll add a little bit of salt and then a little bit of pepper, but at least I know exactly how much I'm putting in and how much I'm getting in my own body. For the vegetables that I have on hand right now, I think I went to the grocery store like a week ago and then I had friends over, so I was cooking for them and they were eating some of my food, but this is what I have right now. So I have peas. I got the sweet peas for this one. And then this one's the cut green beans. My next staple is string cheese. These are super, super easy to pack with your lunches or not even pack with your lunches if you're just at home and you're going to have a cold meat sandwich for lunch. Just, I usually just throw in a thing of string cheese with my fruit, vegetable, and my sandwich. Speaking of sandwich, I usually get the lunch meat. I'm a turkey person. I'm not really a huge fan of ham. My next staple is almond milk, and I know this isn't for everyone. I personally don't drink this in a glass to drink. I usually have this in my oatmeal, or um, I always put this in my coffee with a little bit of sugar. I'm not saying you should drink almond milk instead of regular milk. It's your preference. I just like the taste of almond milk better in my coffees or in my oatmeal, like I said, I feel like it brings a little bit more flavor instead of just regular milk. The next thing on my list is salsa. Salsa is great for spicing up stuff. I love putting salsa in my eggs. I love having it in my tacos. I don't know what else to say with salsa. They don't expire very quickly either, I've noticed. So my next staple is rice. These are the boil in a bag rice that you just uh, start the boiling water and then you put the bag of rice in and then when it's done you just take it out with tongs and it's super super easy. Either get this or I really really like the, what is that brand? The brand of rice that you tear the top off of the rice package just a little bit and you put it in the microwave for like 90 seconds and then you have this whole bag of rice and it's cooked. It's an orange pack. Why can I not think of the name? 
The next thing I have are rice cakes. I love these for snacks. You can get these in so many different flavors. This flavor is caramel corn, and then this flavor is white cheddar. You can get these plain too. I really, really like putting peanut butter on these, and it's like a really quick and easy snack. Really save my favorite things for the very end. I have three more. The first thing, peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I think I've mentioned it like four times already in this video. You can have peanut butter with anything if you like it. You can have it with apple. You can have it on toast. I have it on my rice cakes. I have it on my My second to last thing is popcorn. If you know me, I am obsessed with popcorn. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not even kidding you. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. When I'm not feeling like cooking supper or if I'm feeling like something light for dinner, I'll just have popcorn and go to bed. I love it. It's a really easy snack. That's all I can say about popcorn. I saved the best for last. Coffee. That's all I have to say. If you're a college student, you know. I was gonna add bread to this list, but as I went to go get my bread, I had like four pieces left and I realized there was a big old chunk of mold. And if that doesn't tell you what the college life is like, then I don't know what does. Also, I live in a small town, so my options are limited. My two options are basically uh, Hy-Vee and Walmart. And if I'm being honest, most of the time I'm getting my food at Walmart. We're really lucky here because the produce section in Walmart is actually really, really good. So most of the time I can find everything I need at Walmart, including the produce. Um, if I can't, then I'll hop over to Hy-Vee and I'll get what I didn't get from Walmart. So obviously I don't eat all of these food items every single day. These are just things that when I go to the store and I know that I'm out of, I tend to get almost every single time. And just a reminder that you in no way have to eat the exact same way that I eat. There's things that I don't like that other people eat and there may be things on this list that you don't like that you don't want to eat. And you can bet your ass that when Danielle and I are going to the store together, we are getting our three meat pizza rolls or our dinosaur chicken nuggets. That's a fact. I think is everything for this video. I feel like there was so much I wanted to say. And then when I turn on the camera, my mind just blanks. So I hope this was good for my first video at least. And it made me really, really excited and really happy to be able to share this with you guys. And if there's anything else that you want to see, I'll make sure to keep that in mind if you just want to let me know in the comments or you can reach me through Instagram or whatever you want. Yeah, I think that is it. Thanks for watching.